Internal conflict is a motivating factor in a lot of people's lives, and it should be no different for the characters in your book. It is a piece of discomfort that makes us want to change things. It shapes how a character will make decisions in their lives, how they perceive the world, and even how they interact with other people and with their immediate environment. Before I gave my characters any kind of internal conflict, I would spend <laughs> I would spend like hours trying to decide, trying to figure out how they would respond to a situation that I put them in or a conversation that they were having. After a while, I kind of found that my characters were becoming two-dimensional and they were also being quite inconsistent between the decisions they would make and the things that they would say. By adding internal conflict to my characters, I no longer had to spend half an hour to two hours trying to figure out how to keep them consistent in any given situation because the motivation was right there built into them already and this really helped me give my characters depth and keep them consistent. Internal conflict comes from past experiences with the environment and with social groups or social interactions or relationships. To start to think about your character's own internal conflict, you can ask yourself these three questions. Number one, did anything good or bad happen to your character earlier on in their lives that would then affect them for the rest of their lives? Number two, how does your character perceive themselves in the world and their role in the world and their role in shaping the environment around them or in achieving their own goals? So what is their perception of themselves? And number three, something that I find very, very useful that comes to plotting as well, does the character, is, does the character see themselves as proactive and in control or, do, or are they a reactive character that is always on the back foot or doesn't have direct control over what is happening to them or are they somewhere in between on that range? I have a character called Galbraith and he is a 15 year old noble born son and he is the youngest of, he is the youngest boy in his family. He's got two older brothers, a father, uncles, two grandfathers and he, his whole life, he's been left behind, left out by the older men in his, in his family. And this has led him to a feeling of constant self-victimization, of victimhood. He perceives himself as hard done by, he, which, makes him, which makes him impulsive. It makes him make stupid decisions. And bad things happen to him because of this. Uh, when he makes a stupid decision, it often gets him into a lot of trouble, even if that stupid decision was based on the best intentions. He has a nobleman, a noble education, which in the class system of my world is one of the better educations. And that has given him the, abil the ability to criti for critical thinking. Um, so he analyzes and questions his decisions and his impulsive actions, but he rarely learns from them because he doesn't have, because the older men in his family have taken such a lack of interest in him. So he continues to be impulsive and make stupid decisions and get into trouble. Once you've got the internal conflict sorted for your character, that's when you need to start thinking about external, external conflicts and how the internal conflict in a character and the external conflict around a character interacts to create some really, really juicy character building moments. I'll be talking about external conflict on my next video. <laughs>